Wise men in their bowed hours. Wise men in their bowed hours have envied the little people making merry like grasshoppers in spots of sunlight, hardly thinking backward but never forward. And if they somehow take hold upon the future, they do it half asleep with the tools of generations foolishly reduplicating folly in 30-year periods. They eat and laugh too, groan against labors, wars and parting, dance, talk, dress and undress. Wise men have pretended that some are insects enviable. One must indulge the wise in moments of mockery. Strength and desire possess the future. The breed of the grasshopper shrills, what does the future matter? We shall be dead. Ah, grasshoppers, death's a fierce meadow lot. But to die having made something more equal to the centuries than muscle and bone is mostly to shed weakness. The mountains are dead stone. The people admire or hate their stature, their insolent quietness. The mountains are not softened nor troubled, and a few dead men's thoughts have the same temper. <laughs>